can start the day from skinning and end up eating and enjoying different cuts, cooked in different ways, has just given the most extraordinary kind of whole picture. The demonstration of the, the butchery of the venison was really interesting, seeing how they actually source their game, um, very much a local thing. And then having Gil Miller, a chef of his stature, actually explain how he's inspired by it, what he does with it, and then to actually have the enormous pleasure of actually eating it. First and foremost, we need to sort of use local. Gil sent me over the recipes, and then I tried to adapt those as best as possible to, you know, Suffolk produce. We served the, the venison in three different ways. We did a, a lovely piece of seared loin, we did a, a raw uh, kind of steak tartare mm. with, with the venison and we also did a long slow cooked dish. So we, we presented it in all its guises if you like. I, I always try and source uh, the, the venison that I cook from, from the wild and uh, I think it, it is that much better. It's had more space to roam, it's had a, probably a, a broader a, a diet. The uh, fallow deer from the Wild Meat Company was second to none. All in all, a really good day and absolutely fantastic ingredients to work with. <laughs>